Welcome, welcome back, you guys, to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for hopping on. Today's topic that I want to talk to you guys about <laughs> is at the end of the day, joy and happiness all starts from within. Joy and happiness all starts from within. The reason why I want to talk about this is because it is so challenging. I know for me, when you are programmed at such a young age to being living in fear, living in fear of getting in trouble, living in fear of not having enough money. You, you over here, parents say, oh, you know, we don't have enough money or this or complain about money or whatever the case may be. And then you've, all that fear of your parents, all that fear they, they, they teach you at school to have, right? Um, that you're going to get it if you don't get good grades, you're this and all, the judgment, all this stuff. There's so much fear that is, already embedded into us when we are at such a young age. So we grow up like that shadow of that fear just follows us around, right? And it's like it attaches itself to us. And then from that fear, it kind of dims down the light of natural joy and natural happiness that we have inside of us. And not only that, society, is it's so manipulating to make you believe that if you don't have a good job, you're not doing good for yourself. If you don't go to school, get good grades, and you're, you're not going to get a good career. You're not going to become anything. You need to go to school. You need to get a If you don't have a house, you're not doing good for yourself. You're not doing good for your family. You're not in a good place. If you don't have all this money, you're, you're, you're lacking. You're, you're not doing something good inside of your life. Something's missing. Like, they're all on it, or if you're not married, or if you're not in that relationship, or if you're at a certain age and you don't have kids and you haven't settled down yet, there's just so much pressure that takes away that joy with inside of yourself and the happiness with inside of yourself if you're lacking so much stuff outside of yourself. They kind of, society kind of manipulates you in thinking that if you don't have these materialistic things, if you don't have these things outside of you, that you're, you can't be happy. You can't live with bliss and joy, right? And I've experienced lately a real awakening inside of myself of understanding that I don't need the materialistic things to make me happy. I don't need a man or, a, or if you're listening to this and you're a guy, you don't need a woman to make you feel whole and complete and make you feel that joy that you have with inside of you. This is why kids are just naturally so happy. You can give them a lollipop. You can give them a dollar. You can give them anything, not even give them anything. Just make them laugh, make them smile, spend time with them. They enjoy the simplest things. Because when you are born, I strongly believe, I'm a believer in God, that he's created you whole, complete, and enough just as you are. Just as you are, if you are listening to this right now, you have everything within inside of you to feel happy and feel joy, great happiness and great joy, even if you are poor, even if you don't have that significant other in your life anymore, even if you're not in a relationship, even if you're married, if you're 45 and you don't have no kids or you're not married or you don't have a house or any of that things outside of you. You have all the power within you to feel that joy and that happiness in this very moment and live in bliss. This is why, if, I don't know if you guys ever noticed or ever watched the Discovery Channel or anything, and you see some of those kids in Africa or you see some of these kids in just different parts inside of the world that have zero, nada, nothing. They don't have no toys. They don't have nothing. They'll take the simplest thing and turn it into a toy and play around with it. And they'll feel happy. They'll feel joy. Because at the end of the day, it's not, they don't know. They're not manipulated yet of the outside world on, on, on living, needing, meaning these materialistic things to make them happy and bring joy out of them. There's some villagers of some women, you know, and, and, and they don't have nothing. But their kid, at least they have food for their kids. So they're happy that their kids just have food. They're happy to listen with the little, and they're healthy. They're happiest with the littlest thing. They hold on to their joy because they're not letting the outside world steal what the joy and the happiness and the light within them, right? So understanding that 
joy is already within you. You don't need the materialistic things to make you feel that joy. You don't need the the uh, the relationship to make you don't need the title to make you feel joy. Society will manipulate you and have you thinking that you need all these things to tap into that joy, but let me tell you on this video, you don't need jack shit. All you need is to tap in back into that joy and that love and that happiness and that bliss. That God gifted you with since you were born, right? And I don't know who's listening to this if you're religious, right? But I'm going to speak it. At the end of the day, why do you think Jesus sacrificed himself? So that we would not have to feel this depression, anxiety, fear, that we feelings that we want to kill ourselves and anger and all these low vibrational feelings making us feel like we're not worthy. When at the end of the day, God, Jesus sacrificed himself for us to not feel those feelings. But we allow the outside world to, to just manipulate us and consume us with this fear. Fear of now, fear of corona. Fear of dying, fear of this, fear, fear. and when you have everything within inside of yourself to live happy, live joyfully, and understand that you are not in walking on this earth, and you're not on this earth alone. God is walking with you. He's right beside you. You always have somebody that will hold your hand and 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 and, and catch you when you fall. But you have to believe in that. You have to tap back into that joy and that happiness that you have within inside of you to see more clear, to really feel those feelings that you have him with you. And, and, and that's what I had to learn after so many years of going through so much shit inside of my life. You know that on this YouTube channel, I don't talk to people. I don't talk to you about things that I haven't experienced, I haven't went through. I talk to you about facts, straight facts on what I've experienced and what I've went through. And at the end of the day, I am 33 years old. After 33 years, it took me till now to really understand that the joy and the love is not given to me from that man, right? And not given to me from money, not given to me from materialistic things, that that joy and that happiness that I have is all already in me already in me it's been there we just for, we just forget we just lose touch of it right so if you want to be joyful if you want to be happy all you need to do in your very moment wherever you are inside of life is tap back into that by doing certain things to tap into your joy and your happiness spending time with yourself understanding your traumas understanding your 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 consistent negative emotions being kind to yourself <clears throat> not not belittling yourself not putting yourself down because you're not where society thinks that you should be not comparing yourself to other people right walking in your path and being grateful that you have everything around you in your situation that many years ago, some things you wish you had and you now have now. But because of your feeling of lack, feeling of lack, and that feeling of emptiness inside, you're constantly searching for things to fill that void. But when you can start tapping into understanding that everything that you desire outside of you is already inside of you, that's where you can honestly start feeling grateful for all what all what you have in this very moment you can start you can start feeling abundance whole complete not feeling lack anymore not looking for stuff from the outside world to complete your inner world and that's where this true joy comes in of being grateful of just the simple things that you have around you and understanding that everything that you desire outside of you already stems with inside of you. The love, the, the abundance of money, the happiness, the joy, everything stems from inside of you. So just understanding that joy and happiness was get, is, is, is just embedded into you from the time that you were born, but you lost touch with it. So in order to tap back into that joy and that abundance, 
is reprogramming your mind on an everyday basis of understanding that everything that you desire, everything that you want stems with inside of you. And that it all starts from within here and up here before it can come out here on your physical. I hope that this video has inspired you in some sort of way to tap, to do the inner work, to tap back into that joy, tap back into that love, tap back into that abundance of happiness that you have with inside of you. And understand that reprogramming your mind and reprogramming yourself from all these things that we were taught takes time. So be gentle with yourself and understand that not every day is gonna be peaches and be and, and, and look shiny and sparkly. You're gonna have days where you're gonna have setbacks, but it's being cautious and aware of how can you realign yourself. And it, that's all it takes, is that taking one step forward and working on how you can realign yourself, realign yourself, realign yourself. Some tips I can give you before I end this video is meditation allows you to be one with those thoughts. Be more aware of what those consistent thoughts are. Journal, journal your thoughts, be, journal the things that are being consistent that are affecting you. You'll be more cautious and aware how to catch them, right? Self-talk, affirmations, saying positive affirmations about yourself, about your life. Maybe writing out five things you're grateful for every day to realign yourself with living in the here and now moment and being grateful for what you have and not focusing on what hasn't happened yet and not focusing on the past. And that's how you keep realigning yourself by tapping into the joy and the happiness that you already have within inside of yourself. The biggest affirmation that I say to myself every day is that I am whole and complete and I'm created by the almighty God and that everything that I'm searching for outside of me, I was born with. That is already in me. That I am love, I am peace, and I am tranquility, and I am happiness. I hope that this video, again, has inspired you and uplifted you in some sort of way to wise up and rise up, in, uh, wise up and rise up in some sort of way inside of your life. And take one day at a time. And be gentle with yourself and love yourself more than you can love anything, anything and anyone else inside of this life because you are worth you are worth it. If you love, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you don't like it and you have other thoughts on the uh, on what I'm saying, leave a comment. Tell me what your thoughts are. Um, and if you like this video, I always say in all the, the end of my videos, each one teach one, share the love, share the knowledge. If you got value out of the video, have a, a positive conversation today with somebody else instead of instead of complaining, instead of thinking about all the negative, talking about all the negative things that, that's going on in the world, talk about something positive with somebody else. Uplift and inspire somebody else today. And I have a group, you guys, called the Wise Up, Rise Up community on Facebook. And I also have a podcast that I drop every Thursday that gives different content to help you wise up and rise up inside of your life as well. It's on Spotify and it's on Anchor. Please go check it out, you guys. If you have not subscribed to the video yet, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button because I'm just spitting out as much as content as possible whenever I feel called to, to give you great value to, again, wise up and rise up inside of your life. I'll see you guys again in another video. Take care.